Hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pandu. Welcome back to another video. And of course, Chantal went live earlier again. It's nothing but live streams, I swear. And also, this one's almost two hours long. I don't want to be here for two hours, so I'm going to be skipping around. If I miss something, I'm sorry, but uh, I want to have brain cells left um, when I go to bed tonight. But I guess with that being said, though, let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? I'm not sure exactly how long I walked. I just wanted to go for a walk. I find when you, like, really measure things down to a T, it just takes the fun out of it, you know? Tom, he can be on his channel if he wants to. He doesn't want to right now. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine why he wouldn't want to be on his channel. Isn't that kind of weird timing? Mm hmm. That's all. So, maybe not ever. Who knows? Thanks, Ella. My favorite hummus. I don't have a favorite hummus. Favorite exercise. Right now, I think it's walking in, like, cool places. But yeah, drinking water or, like, a fiber drink will make you fuller. For sure. But my eyes are sparkling today. Yeah, that makeup is a choice. I mean, it looks okay. It could be worse, but like it's it's not my favorite color, especially with her skin tone. It kind of makes her look more red than usual. I mean, it could be better, it could be worse, but definitely could be better. I match, sort of. There's way too many videos about me to keep up. That's for sure. Okay, so what you're kind of insinuating is like, you know. Hmm. Your girl dinner will be water. Make sure it's fancy. Usually when you rent a place here, you have somebody who takes care of the buildings and for a small extra fee a month, they clean your car because every day it gets dusty, like almost every day, full of sand dust. I don't think the filters work whenever you're on YouTube Live. Eh, no smoothing filter. Uh, yeah, they do. You've been known to have filters while you're <laughs> live, girl. Come on. <laughs> uh, also, are you also verifying that you use filters? We've known, but no, I don't use filters. That's just what I look like. Girly, come on. My back pain on a scale of 1 to 10. Sometimes like a freaking 8 for real. The couches are so nice, but too low for me. I'd have to roll off. Yeah, they're pretty low, but you know what's funny, Teardrop? This is not even the lowest for, like, the Majlis, like, the Arabic-style couch. Some of them are right on the ground. Like, this, like, it's like a floor mat. I don't have trouble getting off of these ones. They're high enough, I guess. And it's good to, like, for me to... Honestly, I don't really sit out here that much. Like, I, I lounge more in the bedroom. <laughs> Would you trust this heart surgeon that was self-taught? Probably not, no. Yeah, I agree with her, no. <laughs> if they're not certified, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I weighed myself. Yeah, well, folk, I'm really happy. I'm just so tired by the time I go live for you guys. 7.30, and I was out, like, all day, walking all day. My feet are killing me. Put a foundation and powder, your eyelid or concealer and powder. Ah, okay, I'll try that. Shadow Bimo! She's not gonna try that. I'm very sorry to tell you. Cooking anything new lately? Actually, I've just been cooking, like, simple things, you know? Like, a mi like mixed plates of all kinds of things like I just had. Okay, I weighed, I weighed myself, and I was the exact same weight like 161 and at my highest at the doctor's i was 166 kilos right not pounds kilos <laughs> i wish pounds so i'm 161 kilos and i don't know why i'm thinking like i know you're gonna laugh at me but do you think maybe like my muscles are building a little bit from doing more chantal no i don't i'm very sorry to tell you but no my muscles are building up so that's why I, girl <laughs> anyways exercise and that could be weighing more because i'm not e no eating anything too bad you know okay like I, how much of it are you eating though like a sausage is just gonna kill you but like if you're eating five or six or seven or eight of them that's kind of a different story i'm just eating like how you've been seeing me eat so why would i be the same weight already maybe plateau i don't know already though like so i'm just like not focusing too much on the scale well i mean if you went to like a nutritionist or someone to help you with your like food intake and your weight and your macros yada 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 you would probably see a lot more results <laughs> bulking up no seriously i like walking around and stuff like you use more leg muscles i don't know i really don't which is why you go to a professional but like you know what do i know you know common logic no diying her own weight loss even though like that hasn't worked in the past decade slash her whole life yeah sure that makes sense yeah sure why not at this point why not Muscles don't build that quickly. Oh, darn. Actually, it's, I am losing a bit. Like, um, like, you know how it says like 161 point something? The point, the numbers after the point go down a bit, have gone down a bit. I don't know. I've never been diagnosed with IBS, but I get irritated, like my bowels get irritated with certain things. Yeah. Actually, my stomach doesn't hurt now that I'm not eating like a lot of junk. Actually, I'm not eating really any junk. When I think about it, like I'm thinking of what the last junk. Okay, actually, no, I don't eat any junk. I haven't eaten any junk in a little while. Yeah, actually, that's impressive now that I think about it. Huh. And let me guess, is this the same exact situation as, like, the vegan days? Like, yeah, no, I'm completely eating vegan, guys. No, like, don't question it at all. No, I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. No, no, no. I'm, I'm doing great. But behind the scenes, she wasn't eating vegan. Is it, like, that kind of situation type deal? I mean, those chicken strips are the junkiest thing. Five times, you eat five times a day Taco Bell? Oh, my gosh. That sounds good right now. Munchos, those really salty chips. I used to love those. 
those are so go. good. Those are Canadian thing, okay? Bonjour, Lou. Are they? Because those are like my favorite kind of chip. I love munchos. Like the ones that come in like a red bag and actually, hold on. The, oh, these are my favorite. I'm not even joking. And I did not know that they came from Canada of all places. Good job, Canada. Oh, the movies in Kuwait. The movies are fancier here for sure, but not like, um, there's no movies I want to see right now at the theater. There's like one called The Beekeeper, Wonka. There wasn't many. It's so, food is so bland uh, without salt. Is a burqa a choice in Kuwait? Yes. I, I, I haven't seen anyone with burqas. Niqab, yeah. Burqa covers your whole face. Like, niqab just keeps your eyes open. Most women that I see who are from here, well, no, I see some without. At least hijab. I think, like, the younger, younger girls, younger women wear mostly hijab, you know, and then you have, like, the ones that are a bit older wear, like, full, like, niqab. I don't think YouTube does anything, you know? I mean, I have striked people before, but I don't know, kind of just gave up. I don't have time to worry about this crap anymore, honestly. I honestly can say, like, I don't have any, and it's, it feels like a good thing. I don't have any hate anymore in my heart for anybody. I don't care. Like, I, I don't, I just, like, I'm too busy working on myself to worry about what people are saying about me or how people feel about me, you know? Now, whether or not she actually means that, it's something else, but, like, for her to, I don't know, kind of say that, I don't know how true that is, but, I mean, that's probably the most adult thing that she's ever said ever at all. So, I mean, yay for doing the bare minimum when it comes to being a human, I guess? I really want to go to Kuwait, but I uh, won't. Concealing yourself is mandatory. No, you don't have to. There's a lot of people who live here, expats, who don't cover anything. It's not mandatory. It's like, they they frown upon you not covering like certain parts of your body, like if you show a lot of cleavage and things like that, but. Okay, so you're, you're confirming that that was a choice to wear what you're wearing. Even before you left Canada, you were wearing like a hijab. So it was a choice. Thanks, Jean. I'm okay. I don't think anyone's gonna come here, but they don't take too kindly to harassment here. It's not the same. What kind of music does Salah like? A bit of everything. He really likes... He introduced me to a lot of good Arabic music. Fairuz, George Wasouf, you know, Najwa Karam. I love Najwa Karam. Kuwait is um, one of... I don't know. My music taste is very much, um... I don't know. Think like Aqua. That's pretty much, like, my standard when it comes to pop music. If it sounds anything even remotely close, even if it's, like, 80s, 90s, 2000s, whatever, like, I'm gonna like it. One of the safest, yes. Yep. Oh, there was an example of... Oh, no, I can't remember. Respecting other cultures in the country is nice. Yeah, for sure. But day. Can be with any song by Mustafa? Okay, girl, do you have one or not? I'm I'm waiting for the answer here. Come on. Oh my gosh! In Canada, we did. I did not have access to one. Oh my gosh! I wanted to freak out. There's all kinds of fabric for hijab. There's chiffon. There's jersey, cotton. Make sure you pronounce the T at the end of Talibat. Taliban. <laughs> Taliban. <laughs> My skin? No, you know why it's nice? I don't know. It's not really. It's like, I'm sweaty. Why am I sweaty? Ma'am, you're morbidly obese. The heavier you are, like, the more heat you retain. So you're going to be a lot sweatier, a lot quicker, and a lot easier. Girl, even I know that. Come on. <laughs> Jenna, no, just with the joke about the Taliban thing. It's hot. Choices. Choices. Jessica, when are you writing your next hit single, Miss LaRoffa? We're overdue. Ah, I'll get on it. Hi, Jessica. <gasps> Are we getting another sick beats? Because I love when she does sick beats. I don't know. To me, you cannot top um, the only gym I got is the Slim Gym. Like, you cannot top that to me. If she can, that's wonderful. I, I welcome the challenge. But honest to God, you can't. I never heard a more iconic <laughs> line in my life. Mia Goth, who's that? Bye, Joni. Thanks for being here. No, it's a also, I I don't keep up with Hollywood, and I was just like, why is Mia Goth trending? Is that like, is that like some sort of like Bella Goth, uh, like Sim or something? No, it was a person which I've never heard of before, but I don't know. She like kicked somebody in the head or something. I don't know. I don't know what 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 are people doing nowadays? Is everyone okay? Probably not. No, definitely not. But like, why are we kicking people in the head? Unless if it was for like self defense reasons or something, I I have no idea. Yeah, I heard that too, Ghostface. Ever had a Furby? Yeah. I still have all of my Furbies. Like, all of them. Every single one. Even my first one. That. <laughs> oh, Coco, bless her. Even though I ripped out all of her eyelashes when I was like five. Bless Coco. I love her so much. Can make, make good money farting on camera any freaking What? No, I can't do that. Stop. <laughs> I mean, at this point, girl, you might as well. I mean, I hate to say that, but, like, look what's been going on. I mean, if you're going to be, I don't know, doing this, you might as well make some money off of it. No, that would mean that people are getting to me. And, I'm, like I said, I'm honestly just 
too happy that I'm like staying on track right now and focusing on me. Like I have no mental energy to even, and you know what else helps? Not watching anything about you. <laughs> it really helps. Even though you said that you weren't doing that to begin with, but okay. I'm not gonna dog on her for not, I don't know, not watching herself because obviously she doesn't like what people are saying. So it's the best of both worlds. She gets to, I don't know, not be bothered. Um, unlike some people <laughs> and uh, she gets to live her best life. And again, not gonna say anything about that. No, I, I don't. I, you're not supposed to drink alcohol in Islam, but I don't. I wouldn't want to, anyways. So I'll have a maid. No, <laughs> but yeah, he did a good job. I mean, he had his own place for a long time, so he can take care of himself. But I did do a really big clean before I left, and he's not a very messy person, so he didn't really mess anything up. Be flattered that you're creating employment for the many. Yeah, I, I want some gratitude, people. Take us with you to the kitchen. Uh, no. <laughs> to put it very, 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 very nicely. No. <laughs> Maul insect maul. That dang finger again, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm too boring to have a channel. I don't do interesting things either. I don't know why people are freaking out. Where's Salah? He's busy right now. Don't kink shame me. <laughs> no sea shanties. There once was a man who went to sea. And I will be 100% skipping. I don't care. <laughs> I want to go to Big Ben. What is it? A clock? Yeah. Yes, Chantal. Big Ben is a clock. Great job. It, it's, you know, it's just a clock. No, no significance or anything, you know, not, nothing special. It's just a clock. Yeah, just a clock. Both countries are all the same. Really? Slight differences? I would still like to go. We can drive to them. That's why I want to go. For road trips, I think going to the other Gulf countries would be fun. Le oh, yeah, Lebanon. I would like to go sometime. I would like to go to Iran also and Iraq and I wish Syria so bad, but that's not possible right now. Egypt. Are you allowed to swear? Yeah, but well, it's not nice. No, to Syria would not be easy. Korea, I would like to go to South Korea. Yeah, I would. That's also some on the list. Iraq, <laughs> Iraq, isn't it? Hot countries are a no for teardrop. Yeah, Omen, road trips are scary. They can be, Kay. I wanna go to Turkey and Qatar. Qatar is cool. I mean, it's kind of like Kuwait, honestly. Qatar is also a Gulf country, <laughs> but it is really nice. There's a lot to do. Like they're always building things, always building attractions. And they're insane. They're mo the malls here are insane. The Rainbow Mountain. I know I want to go to Iran. So I do. We know some people here that are from there and um, they were talking about it and I really want to go. I don't go to a mosque, no. Yeah, I know Kuwaitis are a minority. Like, it's like mostly a lot of expats here. Okay, let's go see a BBL. And the chocolates tray that you guys like to ask about. Why did someone count the chocolate bars? I gave one. I gave a couple to, well, yeah, I gave a couple to Salai to meet them, so. Have you ever tried Dominican food? Turkish. <laughs> don't fib, Chantel. <laughs> no. I was like thinking like, because I, I was like kind of not stuttering, but like kind of like retracting because I said I gave him like thinking, okay, he can take his own chocolate bars. People are going to think like, why is she giving him chocolate? You know, like that kind of thing. But no, yeah, he eats the chocolate bars. He had one, I think. There's like one missing. Hormuz Island? What is that? It's mm. my must mustard hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, we 100% believe you. And like that makes sense as to why you would flub and then try to correct yourself. Girl, if you had chocolate, I mean, that's not going to affect anybody else but yourself. I mean, if you had some, if you didn't have some, just tell the truth and quit trying to, like, spin narratives or something and try to correct it. It's exhausting. What is this? What is this on my carpet? Oh, what? my God. She is adorable, but just, eh. Oh, God. We have more food? Jesus. We've been in the kitchen now. I guess let's just go ahead and press play. <laughs> Whenever we have company and I serve tea... I serve it on our nice tea. Teas. I'm not gonna lie, that's absolutely gorgeous. Come on, that's beautiful. Sets. And I bring it out on a tray. These are the Arabic coffee cups. They're small. They're small. Oh, cold water. Yellow. Okay, uh, where are we going? <laughs> we got our tea, we got our water, and we are ready to roll, girls. <laughs> No, thank you. No, 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 no. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Valentine's is coming up. Um, as Muslims, we're not supposed to celebrate that, but uh, yeah, I think, I don't know. I really want to get the new Lush Valentine's Day line. It says LGBT creamer. Oh, the rainbow. <laughs> I get it now. You weezers. Lush has a rose and vanilla bath bomb. Oh, yeah. And they have the cutest new bath bombs for Valentine's Day. One is called Love Letter, and it leaves all these little floaty red hearts in your bath water. I want to get that, but I don't take baths, really. I should. 
I mean, I can fit, but it's not comfortable. <laughs> it's not that it's not comfortable, it's that the water- I love me a good bath, but I only really take baths if um, I'm sick or if I'm really, really sore or something, or like maybe I pulled a muscle or something and I need to soak for a bit and some Epsom salt. But like, I love the idea of it, but then you just kind of sit there and I don't um, have my glasses on. And I can't bring my phone in because electricity and things. And I'm just sitting there staring off in the space and being like, okay, great. I can't see. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, even though I'm, you know, bathing currently trying to <laughs> do stuff. And you should get bored after like 10 minutes, 15 minutes at most. And I usually get out. I got a single pepper for 150. You got an entire bag full. <laughs> I still have a bag of peppers. I've been eating a pepper every day. So they're going down. I'm all peppered out. I'm not going back to Canada for a long time. <laughs> if people come- well, I don't blame her is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> here to stop me, they'll be in jail instantly. The laws are so strict against that here. So go for it. Actually, that would be cool. Locked up abroad. Gore World Edition. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I just, I'm bored in Canada. I want to, I want to, I want to travel. I want to see things, you know? The only thing holding me back is myself. And even that, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of stubborn that way. Like, I'm like, so what? I'm f super fat. I'm still going to travel to the Middle East and still squeeze myself on a plane. Go to Thailand. Do what I can. Like, you know, I could have done more if I was more in shape, of course. But I still did enough. You know, all of the things we did on our couples channel. Those were fun things. Would you feel uncomfortable living in Kuwait by yourself? I think I would feel lonely and depressed, probably. And um, you also wouldn't be able to be a passenger princess and not have any sort of access to a car. I'm not exactly sure how that would work, especially when it comes to her case. But but yeah, she would basically just kind of be housebound at that point. So I wouldn't want. I don't know if I'd want to live alone here because I don't do anything really alone here. But I don't mind. You gorgeous haters. Yeah, that would be scary to live alone there just because you haven't been there alone. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I had trouble living completely alone in Canada. Like, I don't know. It's I find it lonely. But I always had the idea. Like, that was always a dream of mine to just be completely alone. But I don't know if I. I don't know if I would really like that. Hi, little nitty. Are you still doing the boycotts? Yes. I mean, I mean, obviously sometimes I slip up and or just out of ignorance of not knowing if a brand is should be boycotted or, you know, just. Why does it matter at this point? You're on YouTube. <laughs> That's on your boycott list that you yourself provided. So, okay, though, we're just going to ignore the fact that she's still on YouTube and she's been uploading and going live. But, you know, that doesn't matter. No, all the other brands matter, but like the one that she relies on her paycheck for. Anyways. Sometimes if we order something and it comes with like a Diet Pepsi, I'll just drink the Diet Pepsi. But I'm trying to boycott as much as I can. Yeah, but I'm not perfect at it. Well, I mean, you could try at any given point. That would probably be a great step one. Technically, Muslim women are not supposed to have, Muslim women and men are not supposed to have friends of the opposite sex. But pizza is a special case in a way. John, when you dreamed of being alone, was it just maybe depression? or like, Yeah, like I like to isolate and just be like completely alone. You don't have to worry about like anything, you know, just you. But I don't think I would, it would be healthy for me. I feel like living with somebody, like at least I know with like my husband, it motivates me to not like completely just like, completely just let go and like not care about anything. Like just let the house get into like, you know, a, a sad state and... I don't know. <laughs> it's easier to like enable yourself and just do whatever you want. Like, I don't know. I think my binge eating would be bad too if I lived alone. So. Okay. But then like, what's your excuse with Pete's then? You, you weren't living alone then. You should find expat women start knitting group. No. Okay. Damn. Don't knit. But like, I don't know. Go do something. Go make friends. Go meet, go meet people. Do stuff. I, I have no idea. I, I'm not that great with making friends, to be fair. But, like, also, in her case, especially because, you know, she's living in a completely different country and really doesn't really have anybody but her husband there, I, I would suggest that she, uh, I don't know, like, go mingle, socialize. She has the personality for it, especially, well, online at least. Being alone is okay at times, but it's important to get out and among people. Yeah, like, when they say no man is an island, like, it's so true, you know? But I don't feel that way. Like, I feel like I just want to be on an island by myself, but then... It's depressing, so I don't know what I want. I still, at 40, do not know what I want. Like, honestly, Sam, I wouldn't mind living on an island by myself as long as it has, like, internet and I can get food deliveries and stuff and it ha has power and, you know, a decent place to live. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I'd be like, okay, great. Look at that. There's so many people here. Oh, wait, just kidding. It's just me. Teehee. <laughs> Just, oh, that would be wonderful. Actually, I was thinking of sewing now that I have a sewing kit. My hijabs that are not already, like this one is already sewn together here. I'm and I only think I'm going to say Chantal is invest in a very nice, uh, like brand name sewing machine. It will change your life. I don't use mine too often, but I do have one. I think I have a singer or a brother. It might be brother. I, I have either one of the two. I forgot which one it was. I, I think it might be a brother actually, but I love mine. I need to probably, I don't know, get back into it or something. 
I loved playing soccer. It was fun. I'm trying to look for more sports to do. I think I want to try tennis or like, yeah, tennis. You should sell hijabs for merch. Would you guys wear one? <laughs> you don't have to be Muslim to wear a hijab. If you want to wear a headscarf, you can wear one. As long as you're not like being disrespectful, you know, towards Islam. You would? I can't imagine you sewing. Yeah, I can sew pretty well. Come on. Can we get some like sewing content? I mean, I would be down for that. It'd be a lot better than um, eating and laying down and then eating more and then just talking so yeah i would be down for like sewing content why not a buy a plus size clothing any new video cooking videos inshallah still waiting on the merch i know i'm the most laziest youtuber ever i'd be too hot wearing a hijab oh my god that reminds me about my own self i've been meaning to make merch forever now but just i keep forgetting <laughs> i even have like designs and stuff ready but i just i always forget to like <laughs> do stuff with them i swear i get my clothes from big and long what is big and long like big and tall a person is not long they're tall right your apartment is gorgeous. I love the view. Well, I mean, technically, I mean, long does equal tall because they're long, like, height-wise. So, yeah, they would be long, technically, I guess. Jill, I just, I can't get into hobbies. I don't have the attention span, like, coloring, knitting. To sit there and just do something, like, the same thing, I can't. That... Actually, I can lay there on the bed and scroll TikTok. That's one thing I can do. Well, here's the thing. You listen to something else while you do that thing, so that way you're you're distracted by the thing you're watching, the thing you're doing, the thing you're watching, the thing you're doing. It's wonderful. I love I love doing that with video games, especially MMOs. To where if like I'm grinding something or like I've been playing a lot of old school RuneScape here recently, and I've been loving like watching I don't know like true crime videos, um, <laughs> stuff, and just kind of getting lost uh, in the video while also doing something else. This Beezer spray is merch. You'll need to buy it. As sewing queen, glad I have the community. Yes, hot tea. But here's also the problem. It's like it's $65 for one bottle of spray. That's the issue that like everybody has been having with the Beezer spray. <laughs> Puzzle. Oh my gosh, Angela. I hate puzzles. I never liked puzzles. And I used to get one every year for Christmas. And I only got one every year for Christmas because I pretended I liked them because I didn't want to be rude. You know? Are there any new sprays? Yeah, there's always new sprays. I took a video where we were today because there was like a ton. If you go in any mall here, there's in the middle of the mall, there's like tons of fragrance booths and they all have the same plastic bottle fragrances. How do you know I was trying to make things work with my narcissistic ex-husband in communication with you through your super chats made me stronger because I would give you advice to you that I needed. Ah, Melissa, yeah. So you had the super chat heard. Uh, go, go talk to somebody, please. Out of that, it's really, being involved with a narcissistic person is like, it's just the narcissist herself. <laughs> Girl, come on. I'm something I've never like experienced before. And it if you don't have people like helping you through, like make you realize it or like watching videos about it, like you don't understand. Like you they make you you feel crazy. So I, I can understand that. Even yeah. though you had multiple people screaming at you, telling you daily, every single time you went live, every single video you uploaded, every single comment that you would receive. Like, no, I love him, though. But then you guys would fight because it wasn't paid in. And then, I, oh, my God, I hear him. He's absolutely awful. And I'm never speaking to him again. But then, like, a payday comes around. Oh, my gosh, guys. <laughs> oh, guys. It doesn't matter where I've been. It doesn't matter what happened. And it's my life, and I'm keeping it private. Keep playing soccer? I'm, I want to see it messy, I think. I don't know. I don't like Timothy Chalamet. He gets on my nerves. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I know it's been stuff for love, but I don't know. Be a bodybuilder? Oh my god, leave that twink alone. Let him live his best life, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Grace. Oh, whoops, I know. That that stupid finger has just been slipping a lot here recently. I'm so sorry. They kind of end up looking like hat people. You know what I mean by that? I mean, I'm not like making fun. Like, they looked fine before. Or like Heidi from the hills. Like, she was so pretty before. She's still cute though, but like, just be happy with the freaking facial features you have. They make you unique. Why do you want to look like everyone else? I don't know. It's so freaking frustrating. Oh my gosh. Says like the poser herself that wants to do this and do that and do everything else to try to fit in at the end of the day is really going to be preaching about like, no, don't get plastic surgery. Bees and the bees. If people want to get plastic surgery, let them. If they don't, okay, great. I, I really don't care. Just if you're going to be doing it, do it for the right reasons for yourself and not somebody else's uh, approval is my advice. I used to want, I think I wanted lip fillers at one point and I'm just like, now I would like, I'm so, my mind is so different. Like I would never... Never. I would just use lip liner. I don't know. I used to want to. Was it a lip flip? Remember that when I wanted that, where they like put your lip up? Hey, okay. just be happy and grateful with what you have. You know, you're unique. Nobody else looks like you. If you get plastic surgery, well, there's a few people in Hollywood who look like you. You know, like 
<laughs> Stanley. Oh Especially every single white male that's ever been casted in anything ever. That's very true. I've been skipping around, but but like, have you guys seen that list of like dark haired, blue eyed white male, which I also fit into that category. But like, anyways, like <laughs> like Hollywood actors that look pretty much identical to one another. It's wild. Okay, I've been jumping around. It has not been super interesting. I will just save you the time. But um, with that being said, though, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.